Hey guys, welcome back to the series where I'm going to be showing you how to build a full stack music player application from the ground up. We broke down our mission into eight steps, eight parts where we um, build the application from the ground up. In this first step, we're going to create the Spring Boot backend. So we're going to use IntelliJ IDEA as our integrated development environment, and we're going to use the built-in Spring initializer to create the application. Okay, so um, create new project, so click new project. And we have this thing up here, so we'll go down to Spring Initializer. I think you do need IntelliJ Ultimate to do this, to use this. If not, if you don't have IntelliJ Ultimate, you can use you can go to start.spring.io and you can do the same thing here. Essentially, it's this, but built into IntelliJ, so it's easier to do it, but you can use either one. Okay, so we're going to give our application a name. Actually, first, we're going to choose where we want it to be. Um, I'm going to put mine in, um, let's think. Let's go ahead and create a new folder for it. How about this? So full stack, full stack music archive. Um, our application is going to be called music archive. That's why I called it that. Let me find that. There we go. So inside of that, we're going to create a new project folder for the backend. So we're going to call it music archive backend. And this will be our project folder. Okay, so music archive backend. It's going to be a job project using Maven. You can use Gradle if you want to. The group is going to be me.cody simpson, so the base package essentially. The artifact, which is the jar file, uh, the name of the jar file will be music archive backend. And the project SDK, I'll be using Java 16, so select Java 16. And the packaging will be a jar file. Okay, pretty simple, so click next. Now we can choose our spring dependencies, our starters here to um, bring into the Spring Boot project. So. Okay, let's think here. So we need a MongoDB database. So we're going to go to NoSQL and find Spring Data MongoDB. So this will allow us to hook into MongoDB in our Spring application. Okay, so we got that. Spring MongoDB. DB. Uh, what else? Web. We're going to use Spring Web. This will allow us to build a web application using Spring as well as use the REST uh, controllers inside of Spring so we can build a REST API. Okay. What else? Uh, template engines. We're going to import Timeleaf. Timeleaf is a template engine you can use within Spring applications to render stuff to into HTML so you can display into the screen. So this will essentially allow us to accept data from our web controller through our model and then render it to the page. So we'll see how we can use this uh, later. But hopefully if you're watching this, you have a little bit of experience with Timeleaf. We're going to be using this to build the uh, proof of concept application before we build the React application. Okay. What else do we need? We're going to use Lombok. Uh, Lombok is a... Uh, essentially a library that we can use to build our data models really easily. It's got a bunch of cool um, things that just basically, yeah, it says Java annotation library, which helps to reduce boilerplate code. So it's going to generate our constructors, our getter and our setter methods and all that fun stuff for us. So very powerful. Okay, I think that's it. So we got Lombok, Spring Web to our, for our REST API, Timely for our view template engine. Uh, Spring Data MongoDB to hook into the MongoDB database, and that's it. So those are our four dependencies that we'll be using using for application here. So we're going to use Spring Boot, uh, just the regular latest stable version of Spring Boot. And yeah, so click Finish. This will build our Spring Boot application and set everything up for us. Okay, right off the bat, you see a few things. You see the help dot markdown file here, so you can get some basic guides on how to do things within Spring which is cool, but we're not going to need that because I'll be showing you how to do everything in this little series. So we're going to open this up and we have all of our Spring application files that we normally have when building a Spring Boot application. Here's our main class, but we don't really need to touch this ever, so we can get rid of that. And yeah, it's pretty much empty. We're not going to do anything in this episode. That's all I want to show you pretty much. So now we have built a Spring Boot application. In the next episode, we're going to set up the database, the hook up the MongoDB database into the Spring Boot application, and also uh, set up our, our song model to model what is a song. Okay, so stay tuned for that. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. In the description below, I'll leave a link to the code for this episode so you can check it out. You can bookmark it, come back to it later. If you forget any concepts or you just want to review the concepts I taught in this video, I'll mark everything up with comments so you can come back and read the code without having to rewatch the video. Although your reviews are greatly appreciated. 
So yeah, I'll leave a link for that in the description below, so make sure to check it out. And uh, another thing is I'll leave a link to our Discord server. It's a big community for programmers, so you can ask for help on your programming projects if you're stuck on something, or maybe you can get some new friends. If you don't have any friends, there's lots of people here. It's growing really fast. You can, get, uh, you can find lots of people who are passionate about the same things as you. For example, if you like Minecraft uh, Spigot development, uh, you can find people, lots of people who like that. If you like C++, you like Java, if you like web development, it's a really, really big programming community. So uh, feel free to join. There's a link for that in the description below. And the last thing I want to tell you is that if you want to support this channel, you can click the join button below this video and you can join this channel as a member for as low as 99 cents a month and you can cancel at any time. You get some cool perks like early access to all of my new videos, a cool rank on my Discord server like you see right here on the side, YouTube members, and also you get to see yourself on the screen like you see right now. So if that sounds cool to you, feel free to join. If you don't want to, that's fine. If you can't, that's okay too. Um, I really just uh, appreciate you watching the video anyway. And uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. And that's it. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And peace.